Hey guys, and at this point, I think we all know that Google is mainly focusing on total of two operating system for smartphones, and that's Android, which most of you guys are using right now, and Fuchsia, which is the future operating system that might end up replacing Android. And yeah, if you're new to this channel, I would recommend watching my previous videos on Fuchsia for more information. Cause in this video, we are going to talk about all the latest news and information we have right now about this new OS. Okay, so first off, Google and Huawei have started testing Fuchsia OS on Kirin 970 processor, and that is the processor that Huawei uses on their smartphones. And first testing device is the Honor Play. So basically, Fuchsia team has managed to boot the Zircon kernel along with Fuchsia operating system on the Honor Play and that's a major development. Cause making an operating system boot on different processor is literally hard. I hope they also managed to boot it on Samsung's Exonus processor cause that is another most used processor right now. The bad part is Honor Play and Huawei smartphones are banned from the United States due to some issues so they may end up dropping the support of Fuchsia on Kirin processor. That thing you should note. Another exciting news is that just a few days back when Google announced that Android Q will be available as GSI way before the official release, they also announced the stable version of Flutter. Now you might be thinking what is Flutter? Okay, so first off, Android Studio is the application for Windows and Mac which is used to develop Android applications and games. Flutter is basically a plugin which works along with Android Studio to develop next level applications both for Android and Fuchsia. This is the Flutter application interface I'm using right now. And yes, if you want to develop applications for Fuchsia, the future operating system, then you need to learn Flutter, which is a part of Android Studio. So Flutter made it to stable version just a few days back and they are all set to announce Fuchsia maybe later in 2019 because you need to take care of each and everything before launching a full functional operating system. And at last the best news is you will be able to try out Fuchsia on Android Studio AVD itself and that's Android Virtual Device or you can say official Android Simulator that is used to test application. See the Android Studio has all the Pixel smartphones and Nexus smartphone simulator that you can run right now on Windows. And they are soon going to add a new device called Fuchsia that of course is going to represent and simulate Fuchsia operating system. I hope I was able to make you understand what's going on right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. A great thanks to 9to5Google for tracking all the Google's Fuchsia activity. And I hope we see the first live interface in 2019. Definitely as always, I will try my best to showcase you each and everything. And for all the latest news, do subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and peace out.